Welcome back to the Back to the Future DVD commentary track for episode three, Citizen Brown. Uh, I'm Mike Stemley, designer. Uh, Dennis Lenart was a lead choreographer. Andy Hartzell, designer. Eric Parsons, I directed this episode. JD uh, Straw, I uh, designed and wrote this episode. <laughs> so, oh, you know, we, we have uh, the introduction of of uh, Jen here, Jennifer. <laughs> but a Jen unlike with any <laughs> you've seen before, sort of. We had talked Jennifer about voice. With the original. The original, the original Jennifer, Jennifer voice. With better mm. hair. Oh, that was cool working with Claudia Wells, though, to get her Absolutely. back for this. And the, the Jennifer character is actually a, a hybrid of two, there was originally two characters. There was Jennifer and there was uh, Tiff Tannen, the, the, the punk daughter of Biff, and along the way, as we streamlined things, the two of them got Hello? mishmashed into one character. Yeah, I think Tiff was originally kind of like a broken Cindy Lauper character, and then we kind of dialed her back to Joan Jett with uh, Jennifer here. You give me a Jennifer? Yes, get him a yeah, Jennifer. <laughs> Where'd that picture come from? We don't know. <laughs> He's had it all Marty's along. infinite wallet. We <laughs> talked about this last time. Yes. <laughs> we assume that Marty has a wallet that players yeah, really just don't want to rifle through. <laughs> that's not a rope. Well, that's not. <laughs> oh, great. Now what? Oops. All new effects for the DeLorean. Yeah. <laughs> We put the DeLorean through some abuse in this episode, didn't we? Yeah, yes. yeah, we did. <laughs> We're about screen. to. Yeah. <laughs> well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect golf cart screams alt future to me. To yes. <laughs> I'm not sure when the first well, time golf carts were used in a future. <laughs> screams nightmare future to me, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It screams my eventual future. <laughs> I think Claudia Wells was thrilled to be able to play her character as a uh, as as a punk. I think it's probably a lot closer to the the real personality of Claudia Wells than uh, than the original Jennifer character was. Very true. Yeah, she she got right into that character, and she was super excited to be to be on the project. It was it was great all around. Yep. Did she just get crushed? <laughs> oh yeah, and then we and then the DeLorean fell on Jennifer and oh wait. Oh, how poor Marty. Kick the tire. So when we started planning this whole season, we told uh, JD that. This was this was going to be the fun episode. He got to be the lead designer for the fun episode, and he can he can talk to whether it turned out to be the fun episode or not. <laughs> well, it, it certainly was quite an adventure designing this episode. Uh, I remember back when we were doing like the whole season arc, we had some really crazy ideas for this, including like time police and a time police yeah. precinct and, and, and crazy new Tiff or Biff characters. Uh, but yeah, put, putting this together. Uh, it was really exciting to have to redesign the entire, <laughs> the entire downtown, as you're going to see here. I mean, apparently in the movies they just put up new plywood and painted it, but <laughs> it's a totally different thing in a video game <laughs> to rebuild this place. I love this town square. I'm so happy with how this came out. Yeah. yeah. Basically, we started with the notion of, you know, what would happen if uh, Doc Brown instead of you know, doing science uh, sort of in his loosey-goosey kind of way, sort of got guided by Edna and uh, being uh, a happy fascist, and so sort of we wanted to make the super nanny state of the 80s, and so we figured everybody should be wearing polo shirts like all villains in 80s, all villains, you know. We, we wanted it to feel kind of like a prep school, too. So, yeah. you know, had some of the uniforms, the Bureau of Discipline instead of police, and, you know, of course, the demerits and everything. We just wanted to feel like if the whole world were suddenly a, a high school for Marty to return to as, you know, that slacker figure. But he gets to step up to the plate here, I think. Another thing uh, to point out, I think the the whole first half of this cutscene, Myas modeled it after the first oh, yeah. time Marty walks oh, in. Shot for shot, it yeah. actually, or no, the, the first, Officer, in 1955 in the first film, yeah. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. 
You're out of uniform. <laughs> That's a violation of civic. So what do they wear on Fridays? Hawaiian shirts. Hawaiian yeah, Hawaiian, shirts. Hawaiian shirt Friday. <laughs> oh, no. oh, yeah, there's actually, a line about it. Actually, uh, they, they wear puffy vests, uh, you know, if you just show up on Friday, you wouldn't have gotten any demerits. It's, uh, it's Coast Guard Friday. Yeah, it's so. Coast Guard. Yes. Doc's little golf limousine. <laughs> I want, so ritzy. I want one of these. Biff? We also really yeah. liked the idea of a completely neutered... Yeah. More so than the end of the first hey, movie, but one is just to... like all of his impulses have been bled out of him. <laughs> and if, if you if you were thinking that Biff was a little sort of uh, Alex Delarge ish, a little bit of that Clockwork Orange, yeah, we, we did cram a lot of references into this uh, into this world. We really wanted it to feel like a um, kind of an amalgam of all the dystopian futures that we could think of. And we want the player to just to just long for that asshole Biff to come back out and to fly <laughs> once more like a complete yeah. jerk. Yeah. Who thought of the conformist? I did. That's the best. <laughs> I actually found a clever, uh, a clever salon name generator online, <laughs> and I clicked through it for like half an hour. That's hilarious. <laughs> Thank you, internet. Problem? <laughs> you notice the buckets of soy mud back there? I like that little detail. Don't even think about snitching on. Kind of the lard of the future. <laughs> Though this is really the '86, so uh, it's not really the future. So I think we spent we spent a while. Um, um, on, a, on a different track in which Marty is, is, is trying to um, earn merit points uh, in order to get an audience with Citizen Brown. And then all of a sudden we, we realized how much more fun it would be for, for Marty to be earning demerits and, and to make the puzzles all about uh, uh, bucking the system rather than trying to conform to rules. I don't know why we didn't think of that right off the bat, but once, once we had that, a, a lot of this kind of fell into place. I think we, we'd even tried to take it a little bit further at one point. We were trying to make it just really super difficult to get in trouble. I think that's still retained a little bit here. Mom, knock it off, you two. Now, and, and once again, if the if the few, if the present screwed up, that means that uh, Marty's parents are screwed up, and you got to fix something. And so we're longing for his mother to become that that alcoholic again that we all love. <laughs> <laughs> we were really flask happy in this episode. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And flasks are a great thing in adventure games. You should, you know, it's I think brass we got cleaner. I have like a job to do here, you know. <laughs> I just yeah. remember the original concept art of the town square of the courthouse being like 300 stories tall. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, was, I would have been okay with it, except we would never have been able to shoot it. See it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd never see the top two thirds of the building. Well, everything would, would fit in frame kind of from an ant perspective. Oh, I, I tried that. I thought about, well, if we just shot everything super low. Oh, that was I, I, look, it's okay, Mom. Get yeah, it's so at least like twice as tall as the, the normal courthouse. I, I like how it's it's sort of eating the old courthouse. Yeah. You can still see the bricks and the windows underneath. <laughs> so this was we this was the first time we got to have uh Welcome to Supmo where Soup his mother yeah. Oh, yeah. as a first major character. Yeah. And we got AJ oh. Lucasio again. Yeah, so AJ versus <laughs> AJ. Is that Jennifer? So Leech was originally, of course, supposed to be um, uh, Flea's character. What, what, uh, 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 needles. needles, 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 right? And we, and we even had Bob. Bob Gale was like, "This is clearly Needles. Just write him as Needles." And I came down to just uh, uh, we didn't have time to set up someone who could really do a good Flea impression, and we didn't. We were worried if if we let AJ do it, he would sound too much like Marty again. So we just sort of changed the character a little bit. But I think you get the spirit of it. Yeah. So sad. Yeah. Yeah. Alt, alt, tiny. He was supposed to have an eye patch, and I don't know what, what no. happened to that. No, no you fought so hard for the eye patch. The compromise was going to be a milky eye with a scar over it. Oh, right, yeah. right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. we didn't do that for him. Why not, why not a robot? Like, oh, uh, yeah, a robot paw. Well, yeah. yeah. Robo -paw. gave up on the robo paw. <laughs> nice invasion of the body snatchers. Yeah, yeah the way that yeah. came together. Ladies, help! Back! Down! Sit! Play dead! 
In, in case you haven't figured out, Edna doesn't like dogs. This is going to pay off on that. Einstein? Oh, if he bites me, you'll be in a world of trouble, citizen. Wait, I know that creature. That's right, he's my dog now. Citizen, you are. Oh, that was a weird pet. <laughs> demerit this hooligan at once. I'll return this creature to And if you play a Back to the Future drinking game with the word hooligan, <laughs> you can also do uh, look it up. <laughs> yeah, look it up. And, uh, and also, uh, what the hell is that? You can knock on my door anytime. Hold it. <laughs> what I really do appreciate in this episode is how we amped up the uh, the double entendres and the sexiness here. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with that. Yeah, I'm really glad that we, you know, we, we, we still retain that chemistry between Jen and Marty. That was kind of like a theme we were going for, was to, to just sort of show that, that it's destiny they're going to be together. Oh, here's the guitar battle. Any, any version of Marty and any version of, version of Jennifer are still meant to be together yes which is just kind of a little weird when you consider that there's probably maybe a real a version of marty in this world and he's uh, yeah no, oh, that's yeah. right in the game until <laughs> fairly late in the process wasn't he yeah, yeah that's right yeah uh <laughs> we had some fun plans for the alternate marty and and the possibility of bumping into him uh, I, like, I think at one point he was undoing your progress. Yes. Yeah. You would yes. get demerits and then he would make up for it. Yeah. And then he was going to be taken in to see a Citizen Brown instead of you and you were going to have to do something. Yeah. Chloroform him. Chloroform <laughs> him. <laughs> I got a better idea. What was it you called me? A square? A girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? Well, you know, it's a little for, menacing uh, yeah. at first. <laughs> <laughs> for all the uh, the amazing work that AJ Locasio did as Marty, I, I'm going to call him out and say that he had a really hard time doing makeout sounds in the studio. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I think we had to get a stunt makeout person. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we did. Was he just? Was it like an air makeout or was it like a hand makeout? You sent someone <laughs> in to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what we needed. We needed a. It was a, a good double show door. though. <laughs> You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop! We just <laughs> in this town. It's like you're a different guy today. A way younger guy. I know this is going to be hard to believe. But this I was a fuzz, fun fun scene. Uh, I thought it was a good good character moment, and uh, it, it actually came about as a necessity to break up What's break up the whole uh, end puzzle me. portion. Maybe. Yeah. What's a guy got to do to get in trouble around yeah. here? Uh, I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. It's too bad his alt, one of his alt name choices in this episode couldn't have been Judd Nelson. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think he was one of the alt. No, Judd Nelson was not one of the choices that we originally had. Along with Harry Callahan and all those guys, we had Bruce Springsteen, and we realized we couldn't use Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> Joe Montana was. On Joe the Montana list. was on the list. Yeah, Joe Montana would have been a great name. Uh, <laughs> We got the uh, the dogs as the statues, geez, so that yeah. was kind of like changing history a little bit. Yeah, we were. But we that were persists real... even in the corrected time. No, actually, it doesn't, because you end up. Uh... Come in, citizen. I love this space. Yeah. Yeah. Martin McFly, age eighteen, resident of Sector L. There are some art design. <laughs> I think Christopher Lloyd really enjoyed. This is when he he got to really start doing some some character acting. He yeah, he really liked this part. To this. Yeah. Explaining the role to him in the studio was really fun. He he's just really excited about it, and and he has this way of just sort of putting up putting up his hand to to let me know I've told him enough. And he's like, <laughs> hey, yeah, leave the rest to me. <laughs> it's me and you, the other you. It was such a fun. Uh, Variation on the, the Doc Marty relationship you? to, you know, getting glimpses of what we know about the relationship, but in a completely different context. Yeah. And the scene was one it's of my favorites. Impossible. No, it's science. Your science. Doc. Science. In the <laughs> other world, what do you say you come from? Am I? Am I? Happy? He's may he may be redeemable. Happy or not? Got two great sons. Yeah. Yes, in a 